Hey everybody, today I am reviewing the Professional Agent Zero Shine. This is a new product from Benefit. It says Shine Vanishing Pro Powder, and it's kind of an all-in-one system for a mattifying powder because your powder's in here, but also your brush is in here as well. So kind of an interesting concept, definitely different from any sort of powder format that I've had before. I have had several loose powders that have included a brush, but in a lot of cases, the brushes haven't really been usable or big enough or something I really like to use for its intended purpose. So this is kind of cool in that the brush is actually usable. The flames on the packaging, it says mattifying, pore perfecting, invisible finish, ultra lightweight, and this is something that you can put um, over the top of your finished makeup look. You could touch up with it. So the top part just twists off and it actually kind of looks like a drink shaker there at the top and you can just twist it to actually open up the holes. So I think that makes it really attractive friendly. I love when loose powder products actually have some sort of a cap or a lock, you know, on the top. So when you do twist off your outer cap, it's not going everywhere. And the brush, I actually find to be pretty soft. Um, it is kind of tapered down at the sides. When I blend it out in circular motions, it kind of spreads over the area where I want to put it, and I feel like it is large enough to do the job. But I did go all over my face just as like a finishing powder right before doing this video. Um, I feel like my skin is is totally matte and even after putting it on freshly applied makeup where you know I pretty much thought I had enough on you know I don't feel like it looks thick or um, too makeup y you know it's not really apparent on my skin. So the other day I waited till the absolute end of my day my makeup was probably on for about 12 hours and this is classic me. Uh, toward the end of the day as my makeup starts to wear off most of my face looks pretty easy but then my nose is pretty darn shiny. So I did apply some of this and I took a little after picture for you to see the effects of that as well. And obviously, you know, it mattified that area. It kind of evened things out. I thought all over my face where I put it, I kind of went under my eyes a little bit too. But the thing is, is that there's a lot of really inexpensive powders that do what this does in a pressed format with a mirror, with the little puff and the compact. So like if that is the way you want to touch up is with powder, um, I, I mean, I think that there are a lot of other methods out there that are workable, that are definitely good and, and get the job done just like this does. I'm thinking of like my Maybelline Shine Free Pressed Powder, L'Oreal True Match Powder. I mean, if this is intended to be a shine vanishing powder and something that you could take on the go to touch up with, it is convenient. I mean, it's definitely stepped up convenience compared to a lot of loose powders, but for me, I don't think it really tops the pressed powders that are just a compact and a mirror and you know you don't have separate parts to deal with and I think there's an advantage to that and you might say well what if you just put this on as a finishing powder does it do a good job of like controlling your oil longer through the day I still end up getting oily in my t-zone even if this is like the last step of my makeup I don't notice a big effect in that yeah, way I kind of see it as a short-term solution like part of your day passes you see oil you put this on you know it remedies that briefly and this is not really my super oily season either. I'm very dry on a lot of my face, but just a little more oily in my T-zone and um, I still get that way even if I put this on at the end of my makeup look. Also, this claims to be an invisible finish, but I've always been of the mindset that if you use enough of something like this, it will show up on your skin. You see it's a little bit beige, but I feel like it has kind of a yellow tone as well, so I wonder how this would really come off on a super dark skin tone. So bottom line, very cool packaging concept for a loose powder. It is really lightweight on the skin. I mean, I don't feel like I'm putting anything heavy on when I uh, touch up with this. So I don't dislike the product. I think it can definitely turn oily skin into matte skin as you saw in my pictures, but I just want to be real with you and saying that I don't think this is going to replace a powder compact, a Mali Poreless Face Defender, or oil blotting sheets as something I take on the go in my purse. I just feel like those things are a little bit easier, a little bit quicker, um, just more convenient than even this, which I think is an improved form of a, of a loose powder. Powder. So thank you so much for watching my review. I hope that all made sense <laughs> and I'll talk to you again soon. Bye.